gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and a new event is now live in Modern Warfare 2, the first faction showdown event of the game. Task Force 141 or Shadow Company, choose your side to complete challenges to unlock rewards such as tier skips, vehicle skins, and a weapon blueprint for completing all the challenges for a faction. Will you help your faction win or play both sides to unlock even more rewards? So, of course, people are going to do all the challenges because they want all the rewards. Choose Task Force 141 or Shadow Company players can switch between factions at any time during the event so why is it even a faction showdown if you, if you have to pick a side you can just play both sides I don't know I don't get it complete faction challenges complete all five challenges for each faction to unlock a mastery reward for that faction a faction must be selected to progress their respective challenges and faction with the most kills at the end of the event wins completing all challenges for winning faction earns additional rewards so let's go ahead and check out these factions right here so you got task force 141 and you have a shadow company now based on this the faction with the most operator kills at the end of the event is going to win therefore the rewards that you see on your screen are going to be given to everybody and then you're going to get additional rewards if you do all the challenges for what ends up being the winning faction for task force 141 it looks like a soap skin i'm not entirely sure we have ourselves a weapon camo which you can actually see right now just go to your weapons go to your camos go to events and you're going to see it's called polished looks okay it's not terrible and then you have a tier skip you can get if task force 141 wins when it comes to shadow company i don't know what operator that is but a skin for them you have another camo here which i think looks a lot better than the task force 141 camo maybe that's why so far shadow company is the faction that is winning they do actually keep track of all this which i'll be showing you guys here in a little bit then of course you also get another tier skip for your battle pass so that's all well and good but the challenges themselves are so brain dead easy so i did task force first and i did shadow company and in total it took me maybe 300 kills to do every single challenge and that's only because one of the challenges is really annoying so you have 50 operator kills that can just happen all the time 10 long shots with uh, battle rifles i jumped into hardcore got that done in one match 40 ads operator kills with assault rifles again got that done in pretty much two games uh three operator kills with melee weapons jump in the shipment you get that done in about 2.5 seconds and then execute a finishing move that can be a bit trickier but again just run around on shipment eventually you're going to be behind somebody hold down the melee button you do your execution hopefully nobody steals it from you and and then you complete all the challenges for Task Force 141. Now, you may be wondering, what is this badass faction reward going to actually be? Well, it's going to be a weapon blueprint for the Bass P submachine gun. And I'm not even going to sugarcoat it, guys. It's pretty shitty. It's called Battle Worn. And just to give you kind of an example, like a side by side comparison here, like this is what the default Bass P looks like. And here is our faction specific unique amazing reward it's it's just i don't know man it doesn't look good to me at all it's very bare bones very lackluster kind of boring if you really think about it and then on the other side of course we have the shadow company the challenges are also pretty simple you get 50 operator kills you, know, you get that done pretty quickly of course you have to do it separately than the kills you got with task force 141 but whatever uh get 15 operator kills while focused with a sniper rifle so just hold your breath on shipment get that done real quick the hardest challenge of course would be getting 15 kills from behind with some machine guns because that could just sometimes be a pain in the ass you can try flanking as best you can but every now and then they're going to turn around or they're going to be slightly at a weird angle and you're not going to get credit for killing them from behind but regardless that was the hardest challenge but eventually you'll get it 10 operator kills with launchers just jump in the shipment five operator kills with lethal equipment again jump in the shipment in total this took me about one hour took about 300 kills and the only reason why it took even that long was because it took forever to get the behind kills with the submachine gun but the unique weapon that we get for the shadow company is going to be the shadow lance for the lab sniper rifle and yeah i'm pretty sure this was actually on a battle pass or part of a bundle at some point which kind of just really goes to show like how bad these events can be sometimes because one of the rewards for the shadow company is actually just a loading screen that is already on the season 5 battle pass which is pretty shitty and speaking of the season 5 battle pass they're giving away i believe this calling card right here which was a mastery calling card i believe for doing some really hard challenges within the raids something like that like that's the problem with cod right now man like they do event it's a really cool idea on paper but the challenges are brain dead easy you can get it done incredibly quickly but the rewards are not good really whatsoever and in a lot of cases they're the exact same things that people either got from battle passes or they got them from different bundles like nothing means anything in modern warfare 2 there are so many blueprints so many calling cards so many emblems weapon decals loading screens there's so much nonsense filler in the game that even infinity ward themselves can't keep track of wait did we actually release this calling card 
card. You know, this calling card that was supposed to be like big and unique and like prestigious for actually unlocking it because you had to do a bunch of hard shit to actually get it. Did we use that one already? I'm not entirely sure. Ah, just throw it into the event. We'll fix it later if it turns out we did end up using it because we can't be bothered to even check. Like, that's what it comes down to, man. Like, there's just so much filler in COD now, and that is definitely my least favorite thing about events like this. And going back to it here, right now, Shadow Company, at the time of this video being recorded, is winning by about 2 million kills. Yeah, as you can see, it took me about 300 total kills, not even that, to do every single challenge. The event's going to be going on for 11 days at the end of the event. Of course, uh, whichever faction has the most kills, the rewards will be given to everybody, and then we're going to be getting bonus rewards, I think, for doing all the challenges. So, I wonder if we're going to get both of them regardless, and whoever wins, it doesn't really matter. We'll have to wait and see, because why would they bother doing a whole operator skin and a weapon camo if they don't plan on eventually releasing it? Who knows? Maybe they could end up putting it in the shop in the future. I don't know, man. This event kind of sucks. Like, I don't want to be like negative Nancy about it because I do really like when they have events in COD. I do think it makes the game feel more dynamic. And how it worked on me, I went through and did all these challenges today. Whereas otherwise, I probably would have jumped on the, the good Modern Warfare 2, you know, the old one. But instead, I played this today and I did all the challenges and I understand the incentive behind it. I understand that people enjoy going for this kind of stuff. But I really think they should really step it up when it comes to these events, man. Like, the challenges were not that hard to do. Like, the challenges were easy. The rewards are boring and they suck, and a lot of them, at least a couple of them, <laughs> are just copy and pasted from battle passes or from bundles. They're not even supposed to be there. They might be replaced later on. We're gonna have to wait and see, but they're not even unique to the event itself. It just... Events used to be so awesome in COD, and now they just seem so shallow, and I... I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like you can't really call it an event when you can do every single thing for both factions in about an hour, or even less. Probably less for a lot of you, because I'm not that good at Modern Warfare 2. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. There is the new community challenge event that we have here, the Faction Wars here within Modern Warfare 2. We're going to have to wait and see how it's going to play out. I have a feeling Shadow Company is going to win just because their camo is better. I mean, straight up, their camo is better. So I have a feeling more people are going to be playing for Shadow Company and everyone's going to get the challenges done. Again, if you put even a modicum of effort in, you'll be done with this in an hour, two hours tops. And then once that's over, I think everyone is just going to set themselves to fight for Shadow Company. Eventually, that bar is not going to be nearly as close as what it is currently. But of course, we'll have to wait and see. Again, the challenge ends in about 11 days. So we'll have to wait and see how things are going to play out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your thoughts and feedback on this event down there in the comments. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.